everybody. Welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green and the show. This is the show. Here we go. So today I'm going to be taking callers um, and answering questions online. Here's, here's the thing. When I take a caller, I try to be very clear. I have one exact question ready. Now, I've been doing this show for a minute, and I think most of my callers know to have a question ready. If you don't have a question ready, create one. Be Johnny on the spot. Create one. Um, but the way the call log works, your hand is raised if you want to ask a question. So just a couple things so that I don't look like a bee and have to disconnect you. I don't, don't, please don't tell me the whole big long story of your life to get to your question. And please don't ask four questions on the way to your question. Um, I have a limited amount of time in this show and I try to get to as many callers as possible while being patient and trying to be kind. <laughs> So, and, and you guys are amazing and you're great. And sometimes somebody gets on and they, um, they want to really tell their story. And I, I completely understand that. But if you feel like you need more time, that might be time to book a private session. And I'm happy, so happy to book a private session with you. But for the, again, for the sake of the show, because this does air on TV, this does air, um, it airs on WSCS, it airs on Rude Rangers TV, it airs on um, Roku, it's on almost every podcast, and it airs it's live through YouTube. Uh, so if you're going to ask a question, I love questions. I'm happy to answer any and every question. However, make your quest have a question ready and be exact about your question. Again, I don't want to seem like I'm being rude on the show if I have to um, let somebody go after I've already answered what I thought their question was. Um, so let's all work together here and make this a good show. Okay, I'm going to take callers. If I call your area code, please uh, take me off of speakerphone or Bluetooth because just the sound quality is so much better if you can just talk into your phone for that few moments that you are on the line with me. If you are watching live on YouTube, thank you so much. And I know Heather, Genevieve, Mimi, and Cheryl are here. Oh, I love you guys so much. And Patrick, hey Patrick. Um, they've all checked in and said hi. If you're watching and you wanna check in and say hi, go ahead and just uh, put in the chat hi if you wanna tell me where you're from. Happy to hear where you're from. I'm gonna go to the very first uh, caller. Who is area code 757? 757, where are you calling from? What's your name? Um, hello. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is Vernell. I start with a V. And I'm, I'm in Virginia. Um, and um, I'm calling about my cat, Lucy. Okay, what would you like to know? Um, Okay, um, I could tell that she's she's trying to tell me something. She's she's not feeling well. I know that much. Can you tell me what she's trying to tell me? Well, there's a, she has some stress. I know that that sounds ridiculous, and probably because she's in a little pain. Okay, so the way I'm hearing this is uh, the first word I hear is stress, and the second word I hear as I go to explain the stress is pain. Now, I think with your cat, if I'm if I'm getting it correctly, uh, there's been some, new, I don't know if there's been a new condition around you or if there's been 
something new going, uh, either something has changed or something new has been brought in. And it's kind of, that's part of the stress. But the pain, there's two places I'm hearing that there's pain. The first, I hear the abdomen area and then I see the back legs. One of the other things I also hear is there might be a little bit of, a, just a teeny bit of arthritis going on for your cat. Now, I'm going to tell you your cat for the arthritis, some good fish oil. The cat will love some good fish or fish oil. Now, the abdomen thing, though, that's a little bit more concerning. You might, you, let's see if we can, yes, okay, let's clear that. Your cat might start acting a little uh, weird right now or whatever because I'm doing some healing work on your cat or the angels are, not me, sorry. Uh -huh. And uh, we'll see what, what results in this. Um, but you might still want to take your cat to the vet just to make sure everything's okay. I do feel that there is an abdomen issue and I do feel like you really need to watch your cat's liver. These are the things I'm picking up for your cat. I hope that this is um, helpful for you. And I hope, uh, I know that our pets are, sometimes they're, they're our babies. And it's very difficult when they can't tell us what's going on and how to how, what they need from us. So I'm, I'm very sorry that you're going through that. Um, I feel like in a month, your cat is going to be better, but I don't know why in a month your cat is going to be better. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much for calling in. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you uh, continue to listen. Well, thank you so very much. I appreciate your help very much. You are so welcome, and it's absolutely my pleasure. Absolutely. So for the new year, one of the things I wanted to do was every single week, I wanted to, I wanted to do 52 weeks of love. So last week, and if you go back and listen to last week's show, you can uh, listen to the clearing. I believe it was on unconditional love, self-love. So this week, I'm going to do... Um, unconditional love. So we have unconditional love and I get a no. So we're going to clear that. And then we have unconditional love for others. Now, this is a really tough one. And I'm clearing that already. And don't worry, they won't take anything you feel like you need or want. But we are always afraid that if we unconditionally love others, we're going to get taken advantage of. Like if I have unconditional love, then my walls are down and people can take advantage of me. It's, it's quite the opposite, though. When you have unconditional love for yourself and others, you actually have really good boundaries for yourself and then others can't take advantage of you. It's when we're in that space of insecurity and not knowing our true worth um, that others can come in and we constantly try to prove our love or let down our boundaries just to keep those relationships or to keep that job because we don't know our worth. Having said that, let me do a clearing on self-worth. Now, these are all around the eight-minute mark, and I do say come back and get these clearings as often as you want or need. So uh, we have healthy self-worth. I get a no, and we start clearing that. Um, when we're in that space of healthy self-love and healthy self-worth, people have a lot more, they, they, they just start treating us and behaving in a more respectful way about us. And we're not so, and, and I hate to use this word, but we're not so desperate. Um, a lot of times when we're very vulnerable or we don't feel loved, we start to come off as desperate. So please come back and listen to all those healings again. They're at about the eight minute mark again. I'm going to go directly to the next caller. And the next caller is 415. 415, thank you for calling in. What's your name? Where are you calling from? 
Hi, Tony. This is Kate in Washington. Hey, Kate. How can I help you today? I would like a message from my mother, Margaret. Okay. Oh, you're. Oh my goodness. She is. She has just this energy <laughs> like that. Like cracks me up. Like I feel like she like used to. She still is funny. She's correcting me. She's like, oh no, you not used to. I am funny. She has a very good sense of humor. <laughs> and if I'm tapping into the right person, I feel like she used to. She was okay with a with letting her language just flow however it came out. Now I, I hope you know what that means. The the biggest message she wants to give you, Kate, is a month and a half, a month and a half, a month and a half. You have approximately a month and a half to get everything together, to get it in order, and um, hit the road, Jack. And this is her singing. And I'm so sorry to everybody who has to listen to me sing. Uh, hit the road, Jack. Da, na, na. What's, the, what's the next line of that song? Let it go, let it go, let it go, or something like Don't that. Come back, no more, no more, more, no more. more. Okay, yes, yes. Okay, this is obviously her song. I can't even get the next line. So the next thing she's saying is, <laughs> you know what? Take control of the situation. Make it your situation. Don't let it be a situation somebody put on you. It's time for you to take control of the situation and get right. serious about your life again. She really, 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 I can tell there's a loved one from a higher energy because when they come in, I just start to, to, to like, I, I can talk fast in the first place, but when the loved ones come in, I'm just like, J -j 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 -j. it's like I've had coffee and I don't even really drink coffee. Um, she wants to say you need to really, 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 really start uh, looking at your life in a different way. And taking your life a little bit more seriously. I think you're going to start a program. I don't want to use the word coaching because coaching is kind of played out. But I think you're going to start a program that helps yeah. people in groups. And I, I feel like this will be online, but then eventually in person. But it's going to be your program where you help people and you guide people. Whether this is something you're doing with traveling, something you're doing with, uh, uh, again, I'm going to use the word coaching, teaching, teaching people how to do what you did, teaching people how to do what you did. Okay, so that's what she is saying. Oh, and she loves you. <laughs> okay, and in the end, and she loves you. But it was <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> Get the road, Jack. Uh, take control and start your new you. business. <laughs> God, I love the folks on the other <laughs> side. Boy, they don't they don't play. They just come in and they get that boom, boom, boom. They get that message in and boom, boom, boom. They want to just start telling you. Because they know they like have this very short period of time. They're like, I've got like 2.2 yeah. minutes. I need to get all this out in that time. Uh, so they do. A case. She can talk quickly. Yes, yes. Um, and I love the song she brought through, Hit the Road Jack. I just absolutely adore that song for you. I think that you understand the meaning of that song. Yeah. And I think that she is telling you it's all good. It's all okay. It's time for okay. you to take control. You know, um, it's it's been fun, but now we're on to the next book. We're going to start this next book, and this next book is going to be phenomenal. Okay? <laughs> That's great. That's great. Thanks so much. That, you that are just so makes my Monday. Absolutely. My pleasure. Until next time, Kate, have an absolutely amazing okay. rest, rest of the week. I'll be do, doing more clearings. So hang thank out. You, with I us. Will. Oh, thank you. Um, I'll be doing more clearings. So please hang out with us. I want to say hello to um, somebody at Cosmic. Cosmic something. I'm sorry, my vision. Um, the, the computer is pretty far away from me. So uh, Cosmic, thank you so much for joining also. And I am going to go to the next caller. You, you know, 203, you're next. And I, but before I go to 203, I want to say something just really quick. Uh, this 
this was coming to me all day yesterday and I kind of want to share it for everybody um, who might be listening on air or on TV, on any air streaming. Um, there are a lot of changes coming in in 2022. Now, 2022 is a year of rewards and blessings. 2022, 222 equals six. Uh, twos are the number of couples and pairings. Um, and what just what I want to say is one area, I'm going to do another prediction show with work and what's coming into this year. But <clears throat> one thing I keep getting as far as work, especially for people in the medical field, we are going to see the whole medical industry is about to flip. Oh my goodness. Now we might not see all of the changes in 2022, but we are going to see them coming in. And once they start coming in, it's almost going to change the way health care is. And we might need that, folks. We just might need a new health care way. I feel like a lot of doctors and nurses that are no longer working at hospitals or the big name places are going to start their own places. They're going to start um, medical spas, not like the med eye spas that are <clears throat> for face and stuff. Love those though. Just saying you guys keep up the good work. Um, they're going to start uh, uh, like medical clinics, but clinic has such a bad, <clears throat> when we say it's a clinic, everybody thinks low cash, but these are going to be nice, nice um, medical, independent medical places. And these independent medical places are going to start offering um, better resolutions for people as far as health and wellness goes, okay? So just keep in mind as we go through 2022, watch what happens with everything medical doctors and nurses. We're gonna see a lot more people offering home visits. We're gonna see a lot more people offering small office visits, like doctors just getting office space and doing their own thing in their office space, having nurses there. We are, go we are about to see some of the biggest changes that we've seen, like since the beginning of, of I don't want to say medicine, but we're about to, it, it, it's, it, oh, when I'm speechless, it's a goodie. <laughs> it's good. Um, and a lot of these doctors are now going, because they're going to be able to offer a more holistic approach with a medicinal approach. Um, a more, because right now when you, when they work in hospitals, they're only allowed to tell you what the administrators and, and the other things, I'm, I'm trying not to use certain words, like if I were trying to avoid a word, I might be trying to avoid the word pharmaceutical or something like that. But they're under a very strict jurisdiction. They're not allowed to say, you know, change your diet, do this, do this. They're supposed to say, take these medicines and da da da. But the new medical places that they're going to be opening that we're going to see coming up are going to be places that offer real real resolutions that that put it, everything back into balance again and start teaching us about our body and food and and a, a ton of other things. So please be aware that this is coming this is coming in. Now that's just one area and that's a very small part of that area. Our whole school system is about to change too. Also, so I want you to know in paying, pay, pay attention to these changes because when there is change, and I know people don't like change, I know people don't like change, but when there's change and change starts to come in, not only, you know, these new places will do good, but they'll force the old places, the standing places, the old institutions, if you will, to up their game too. Okay, so it's a win win for everybody. Let's give them a big round of applause and support them when they start to come out and realize that it, it can be a good thing. 
Okay, I'm going to go to the very next caller, 203. I think 203 is the next caller. 203, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Michelle from Georgia. Hi, hey, Michelle. How are you? Um, hi. Good. Um, my question is I just started, uh, just met somebody new, started maybe a new relationship, and I was wondering if this was going to be some kind of long-term love relationship. Okay. Um, okay, uh, Michelle, I feel like the person that you just met, hes it's a good person. It's a good person. They have uh, some good qualities. The biggest thing I hear is how far this goes depends on how you hold the reins, okay? So what I'm hearing or understanding is that if you take this low and you're strategic, not game playing, but strategic, and you're clear and you're honest about what you want and you don't back down, um, it has the ability to go much further. Uh, I am hearing that you have to... Uh, don't, I know it sounds, sounds ridiculous because you're just starting this relationship, but don't concede. And what that would mean to me is, um, if, if these are your lines, don't cross them, don't cross these lines, don't, and don't let them cross these lines, keep your boundaries tight and keep yourself, um, in alignment with what you want and, and don't push back. You don't have to say to the person, I'm not letting you cross this boundary. All you have to do is uh, hold yourself true to what you really want and you will get it. Um, I feel like this has the potential to go a minimum, a minimum of now. And again, you have free will. There's another person involved here. I'm not in charge of anybody. You can change your mind at any point. And because there is another person involved here, they can go willy nilly at any moment also. But as everything sits right now, this has the potential to go six months minimum. Okay, a six months minimum. Now, between now and six months, you um, it's really important for you to look at this person and what they're bringing to the table. And I know it's really difficult for us not to get too invested in that period of time, but what I'm hearing is don't invest everything in that period of time. Um, allow yourself to be very, um, very aware of who this person is. I feel like it's a good person. I feel like it has the potential to go very far, but I do feel like you have to really go in eyes wide open and you have to look at everything clearly uh, and and hold your ground on what you want. OK, I hope that makes sense for you. I really, really hope that makes sense for you. All right, I'll keep it in mind. Thank you. You are so welcome. And I fun. hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the week. Absolutely. I'm going to go directly to the next caller, who is um, 914. 914, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Catherine, and I'm calling from New York. Hi, Catherine. Happy New Year. Thank you for taking Hi. I'm just wondering if you have a message from my dad, Gaetano, please. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Gaetano? Is that his name? Gaetano? Do you know what? I had an uncle by that name. That's awesome. I love oh, that. Wow. Yeah, he was he was an uncle through a marriage, but still an uncle. Um, so let's see. Let's see if I can get a message from him. Your uncle, your dad, not my uncle. <laughs> and I don't, your dad, not, <laughs> not my uncle. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that your dad, that the the first thing that your dad would, okay, your dad is, is the first thing, and there's a lot of stammering and a lot of. I wish you you were watching on YouTube because my hands are going crazy, and I know that that's a thing like 
the big hand gestures and the talking and the so the first thing there's so much there's so much to say and not enough time and then like this very powerful forceful uh, uh, verbose type of he could be very calm at times but the biggest thing he wants to say he's saying your job your job your job your job your job so the what i'm getting uh, from the, do you know what he's saying do you know what he's saying with your job yeah okay yeah. that then yes, i'm I'm going to let that be because there's so many messages he wants to give you. And if you already know what he's saying with this, I'm going to let that be. And I'm going to go to the next thing. And then the next thing that he wants to say to you, if, if you already know what he's saying about your job, the next area he wants to say is, um, okay. Um, is there, it, and it doesn't have to particularly be from him. But is there something about an inheritance? Because I'm very clearly hearing the word inheritance. Now, we always think of inheritance as money and property, right? That's that's just where we go with that. There's a whole nother type of inheritance, but I think he's talking about I think he's talking about something that was left to you, something that was left to you do you know what he's talking about no okay i'm going to it, okay if this didn't come already it's going to be coming this might be something that's going to come in the future now the second type of inheritance that there is is spiritual gifts from our lineage. Um, yeah, right? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Now, in my family, my youngest brother, one of my other sisters, and one of my other brothers talk about very rarely, and they don't like it. They don't like it at all. They're, they, we, we all see, we all have the ability to connect with people on the other side. They shut it out. They don't want to see it. They don't want to, they don't want to know it. They don't want to deal with it. They, they don't like it. Um, so obviously this is something that is in my family. It's, it's very strong with me and some of my siblings that have brought it up. Um, so there is an inheriting or an inheritance of our gifts that have been in the lineage. And I feel like you, so excuse the way I'm about to say this, but it's about to pop open for you. It's about to pop off and pop open and you're about to be, <laughs> and I say this every once in a while, you're about to be open like a lotus flower. You're about to be opening up and having all this stuff come in for you. What like? And, and they're singing that song, ready or not, here I come, da da da. I don't know. <laughs> Enough of the singing today. Um, I am going to tell you that you are going to have these come in and you are really going to enjoy them. Um, maybe not at first, but it, whatever. I feel like some of this is starting in dreams, but then the rest of it is going to come as you... Uh, in your waking hours, I'm hearing you're going to start to see things, sense things and get messages more clearly than you have in the past. Okay, beautiful. Join me Wednesday at noon. Until then, have an absolutely phenomenal rest of the week.